Hello everyone and welcome to part 6 of our project's Envoy Beginner's Full Guide. In this video we will be discussing everything you need to know about farming from A to Z. And we will be discussing farming outdoors as well as indoors. So without further introduction. Let's jump right into it. The tools and materials you need for farming are sorted into primary tools and secondary tools to make it easier. Primary tools such as a trowel or a shovel and seeds, and anything that can hold water. Preferably a watering can, and you have to make at least a few rain collectors. Secondary tools such as fertilizer and gardening spray can, as well as making a composter and walls. Your primary concern once you have the tools and materials should be the location since zombies can easily trample your crops, and this will either damage or kill the crops. Meaning that you need to plant some where the zombies can't reach while still allowing sunlight to reach the crops. So it's probably best to choose a location with high walls around it or build walls around your farm. But the alternative, being a second story, that the zombies cannot easily reach. This point is for indoor or second story planting. So if you don't plan on growing your crops indoor, then just skip this point. In order to plant indoor you will need a sack and a shovel. After that equip the shovel in both hands and put the sack in your main inventory. Then right click on any area with grass, and click on take some dirt. After filling up the sack. Go to the indoor spot where you want to plant. And right click on it and choose the option spill dirt. Now that we have a secure location, we begin preparing soil. Click on any tile where you want to plant and choose to dig furrow. And for that you'll need a trowel or shovel. After digging furrow, unpack the seed and click on the prepared tile and choose to sow seed. Start watering the crops right after putting in the seeds. Recommending at least 50 units of water. And in order to keep track of the condition of the crop, you can simply right-click on the crop and select info, and it will show its condition. Stop watering the crops once the info box says that the plant is well watered. When done planting, you have to keep track of your crop's growth. By clicking on the info box and find that crops are ready to harvest, then you can start harvesting. But it's better to wait between 1 to 3 days so that the crops can be seed-bearing. This way you can also get seeds. But be careful as your crops can grow stale and eventually rot if you're not paying enough attention. And keep in mind that different plants have different water requirements and different rates of growth. And now that we know how to grow our crops, we need to know how to grow our crops faster. So fertilizers remove 20 hours off of the current growth cycle of the plant. And possibly even pushing it to the next stage of growth. But you need to be careful. Because 4 or 5 uses of fertilizer on the same plant will kill it. So we discussed how to use it before discussing how to make it. Because you can easily come across NPK fertilizer. But what if you run out of it? You can simply make your own fertilizer by building a composter at level 2 of carpentry. After building it, you simply put in any rotten food. And after 2 weeks, you get your fertilizer. Zombies are not the only thing that can harm your crops. Currently Project Zomboid has 3 crop diseases which are mildew and insects and devil's water fungi. These diseases will slow the growth of your plants and possibly kill them. And or cause them to produce smaller harvests than normal. Luckily mildew and insects only require a spray. While devil's water fungi cannot be managed with spray. You can at least get rid of it by replanting the tile. And keep in mind that diseases can spread from one tile to the next. So it's better to be quick when dealing with plant diseases. Considering the fact that devil's water fungi usually occurs on plants that have been infected with either mildew or pest flies for a long time. So as long as you manage those two, you won't have to worry about devil's water fungi. We will be leaving in the description the items required to make the cures. Typically in order to be able to make the cures for the mentioned diseases, you need to have knowledge in farming, which comes with either the gardening trait, or farmer profession, or simply to have read the farming magazine. The farming skill is possibly the easiest skill point to level up. It will simply keep leveling up as you farm, and you can speed it up with the farming books. And it will gradually give you more info on the crops as you keep leveling up. 